We begin with everything we know and don't know about the new Omicron strain, from the symptoms to look out for to how effective the vaccines are. Like so many others, Tanya McMenamin and her daughters waited in the cold weather for a COVID test after her vaccinated, boosted, and asymptomatic husband tested positive. It's certainly surprising, mm -hmm. and uh, we weren't expecting it because we've all gotten, you know, we've all done our part to get vaccinated, which we thought was really important. It is important, tremendously important, but the questions surrounding the Omicron variant are as numerous as the people waiting in line for a COVID test. So let's clear up some facts. The highly contagious variant, first identified in mid-November in Africa, spreads like wildfire, doubling in numbers every two days. We estimate that about 73% of cases now are Omicron, and that's up to 90% in some areas of the country, including New York, where you are. Health experts anticipate the skyrocketing surge to continue through Christmas with a peak in mid January. The goal cannot be to avoid infection at all costs. That's an unrealistic goal. The goal should be prevent deaths and severe illness. Not everyone will develop symptoms from an Omicron infection, but since exposure is likely, it's important to recognize the variant's more prominent signs, which include cough fatigue, congestion, and a runny nose. With the vaccination, your chance of being hospitalized, having a severe infection that lands you in the hospital, is still dramatically lower than if you're not vaccinated at all. Lastly, protection is different than prevention. The high number of breakthrough cases among the fully vaccinated clearly shows that two shots and a booster will not fully stop an infection. The problem we're seeing with Omicron is that the immunity that you get from the vaccines is not as effective as it was with the Delta variant. And so this variant is particularly adept at evading the antibody response. Regretfully, that is news no one wants to hear. I thought, like many people, that we were at the tail end of this and things were going to clear up and we were going to be you know, smooth sailing from here on out. But it, it, it's had a different plan. Now, despite the surge, despite Omicron, despite the number of breakthrough cases, health experts say we are way better off this winter than we were last winter. And fingers crossed, the hope is we'll be better off next winter than we are this winter.